God wants everyone to be saved, even those who attack his church. In this story, you will hear how a militant atheist was given a second chance. Keep listening. Welcome to our YouTube channel following Padre Pio, about a Capuchin friar, mystic, and miracle worker whose intercession is still very powerful and active today. We publish videos and shorts five days a week, so follow us to find out more about the life of this fascinating saint, and you will be amazed at what Padre Pio can do for you, a family member, or a friend. Today's story is sourced from the book Padre Pio, The Unknown Miracles of the Saint with the Stigmata, written by Jose Maria Zavala. In this book, Zavala presents an extraordinary tale of the conversion of Dr. Francesco Ricciardi, a militant atheist who dedicated years to leading a disgraceful campaign against faith and against Padre Pio himself. Listen to this. The doctor lived in San Giovanni Rotondo, near the convent, which he insultingly referred to as the Factory of Charlatans. He would gather influential people from the area and engage them in fierce anti-religious debates. He waived scientific facts and attacked the friars so much that he managed to stir up a strong resistance against Padre Pio. But during the whole commotion, our dear Padre Pio endured the insults in silence. However, little did Francesco know his life was about to be turned upside down. He fell terribly ill and was soon diagnosed with late-stage stomach cancer. It was too late for surgery and Francesco's colleagues were certain he would soon die. News of his condition quickly spread through the town of San Giovanni, and before long, everyone knew about the doctor's worsening health. Now, based on what was said earlier about Dr. Francesco, you might think many people disliked him. But on the contrary, he was loved by the community. You see, besides his anti-religious activism, Dr. Francesco was known for his great generosity and would often treat the poor without charge. People actually cared so much about him that they gathered in the streets praying on their knees for his reconciliation with God before death. It's probably worth mentioning that it was winter. People kneeled out in the cold in prayer for his salvation. Can you imagine that? Even his relatives were concerned about the state of his soul. So they asked the parish priest, Don Giuseppe Principe, to come visit him. Don Giuseppe mustered the courage and embarked on a mission to visit Dr. Francesco, with the earnest hope of administering the last sacrament to the dying man. Leave me alone, Francesco roared when he saw him, throwing a slipper in his face. I don't want a priest, he shouted. Only Padre Pio could confess me, but I offended him too much to come. After all, he cannot leave the convent. I will die as I lived. Enough. Upon hearing these words, Francesco's nephew, Dr. Angelo Merla, and the mayor of San Giovanni rushed to the car and drove to the convent. Dr. Merla recounts that he himself informed Padre Pio of his uncle's words. But Francesco was right. Padre Pio was not allowed to leave the convent, and Padre Pio explained that the Vatican had placed restrictions on him and that he will not be able to help. However, the superior of the convent, Father Raphael, intervened and encouraged him to go see the dying man immediately. He believed it was God's will that Padre Pio should visit the atheist. So they left the convent in a hurry, leaving the anointing oil and communion behind. As soon as Padre Pio arrived, he extended his arms wide in a warm embrace, greeting Dr. Francesco with a radiant smile. The dying atheist gazed at him in astonishment, and then his face lit up with a newfound realization. Forgive me, Padre Pio. With a compassionate heart, Padre Pio heard Dr. Francesco's confession and granted him absolution. On his way out, Padre Pio's gentle words echoed, Goodbye, doctor, I will see you at the Capuchins. The following morning, preparations were underway for what was thought to be the doctor's funeral. However, to everyone's amazement, the news spread like wildfire. Dr. Francesco was still alive. The event was regarded as a miracle. Within three days of Padre Pio's visit, Francesco's health was completely restored, leaving no trace of cancer. His skin was renewed, inside and out. 
The doctors couldn't believe it. Dr. Francesco resumed his normal activities and began attending church again. He went on to live for another four years as a devout Catholic, defending Padre Pio every chance he got. In this incredible story of Dr. Francesco Ricciardi's journey, we witness the amazing power of Padre Pio's intercession. It's not just about Dr. Francesco's body being miraculously healed, but his soul finding deep restoration as well. It's a powerful reminder that God can use physical challenges to ignite a spiritual transformation. This story is yet another testament to God's boundless love for sinners. Thank you for listening. Please give our channel a boost by continuing to watch another video. This will help with the YouTube algorithm. I have recommended some videos especially chosen for you on the end screen. Or just click on one of the links in the description below for a full selection of great Padre Pio stories. We have a new playlist, Padre Pio Thought for the Day. Check it out. And don't forget to enroll your Mass intentions for next Friday's Padre Pio Holy Mass. You will find the link in the description below. And stay tuned for the next video on the life of Padre Pio.